All right, we're on activity 211, tolerance blocks. And what we're going to do is show you how to do, all the way down here on the bottom, we're going to do number 11. And we're going to scroll down to number 10. Okay, and here's where the video is. So we're going to design and specify on CAD a drawing of a pin and a receiving pole. So the connection between the two interfacing pieces will securely hold two 3D blocks printed together in inference fit, so it's a tight fit. We're going to use the bilateral tolerance format to specify. All right, let's start out one step at a time so we don't get overwhelmed here. Let's go to our notebooks. And the first thing it said it wanted us to do was to create a block with a pin. So what I'll do is I'll draw on my notebook a block, put two pins on this block, We'll call this one the pin. We'll draw another block. I'm just doing four by four. This one's going to have holes in it. We'll call this one hole. Now to better represent that, let's draw a side view. So I'll come over here. Here's my side view. I'm going to have a pin sticking out. And I'm going to have another pin sticking out. Okay. And then over here we're going to have a hole. All right, now the pins need to go into a hole, so the hole is going to be represented as a dotted line to show that there is a hole going inside of there. Now we need to come up with some measurements. So for the pin measurement, how big do we want to make it? It doesn't really matter. You guys can pick any size. For this demonstration, we'll keep it simple, and we'll make the diameter of the pin 0.25. Now, if we go back and look at our directions here, it says right here, use bilateral tolerance format to specify the tolerances. Okay, so bilateral means it can go above and below 0.25. We'll put a plus minus, and we'll pick a size. Now, on the 3D printer, it really does a nice size at 0 0.01. What that means is, we need to list the upper and the lower limit of this measurement. So if we take the 0.25 and we add 0 0.01, we get 0 0.26. And if we subtract 0 0.01 from 0.25, we get 0.24. So that's our upper and lower limit. That means that's the biggest and the smallest the pin can be. All right, now comes the trickier part. Let's come down to the hole and figure out a size to make the hole. <clears throat> if you want these pins to fit in the hole snugly, the pins need to be larger than the hole. So that means our hole must be smaller than 0.25. Well, a good size would be 0.24. We can use the same tolerance, 0.01. What's our upper size? That would be zero point, add those two together to five. And our lower, it's going to be zero point two three. We subtract. Uh-oh. If you notice, the hole of point two five is larger than the lower limit of the pin. That means if by chance the pin happens to be manufactured at point two four and the hole gets manufactured at point two five, it's going to be a loose fit. We cannot have that. We want to have an interference fit where it's tight. All right, so let's make this even smaller. Let's try the hole at 0 0.22 plus minus 0 0.01. All right, so now we do our upper, we do our lower, add them together, we get 0 0.23. Subtract them, we get 0 0.21. The largest size hole is still going to be smaller than that. So we're going to cross this out, put a little initial here, and those are our measurements. So let's head on over to Fusion. All right. In Fusion, make sure that you're in your folder. So I'm in Corbett. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to draw two blocks. And I'm just going to make them two by two. Two tab two. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to make two blocks. Two tab two. 
and we're going to extrude those one inch. All right, so they're two by two extruded one inch. Pause the video, you take care of that. Next, let's do a new sketch on this block. This is going to be our pin. I'm going to zoom in on it. All right, I'm going to draw a hole that's 0.25. So I'm going to draw a circle up here, 0.25. I'm going to draw another circle down here, 0.25. Now these need to line up with our holes. They have to be in the right spot. So I'm going to grab the dimension tool right here. I'm going to zoom in on this. I'll click on the center of the hole for the circle. I'll click on this side over here. Let's see, I get my measurement. And I'll put it up here. And we'll put it in the middle, so that needs to be one. All right, I'm going to click on the center of the hole. I'll click on this top edge. I'm going to come over here. And I'm just going to make it 0.5. All right, I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. Center of the hole. Side down here click one click on the center of the hole click on the bottom click on the side 25 so now we know right where our holes are all right pause the video take care of that we're going to finish the sketch we're going to extrude those in a half inch or out sorry we're going to extrude those out 25 we now have our pins okay pause the video take care of that now we're going to make holes in the other one New sketch, click here, do the same thing. I'm going to put a circle here. Oh, how big is our circle? Let's go back and look at our drawing. Our holes are going to be 0.22. So that's how big we're going to make them. So I'm going to type in 0.22. I'm going to put another circle down here. Same thing, 0.22. Now we're going to add our dimensions. Just like last time, click Dimension or Create dimension you can do that too I'm going to click on the center of the hole the side of my box and then click up here give me one click on the center of the hole top of the box over here 0.5 repeat that on the bottom all right finished sketch we're going to extrude that half an inch in. So that's going to be negative 0.5 to go in, negative 0.5. All right, save that. I'm just going to call it my name, pin block. And we're going to make an orthographic drawing. All right, your name, pin block, right there. So click design, drawing from design. We're going to change it from scratch. You should have 11 by 17. If not, just, just hit OK. That's fine. And hit OK. It's going to take a second to load. And this is going to make our orthographic drawing where we're going to be adding our dimensions. First thing you want to do is change the scale because it's probably going to be too small. So you can see how small this is. So I'm going to come up here. And we're going to do one to one, a little bigger. So I'll click there, hit OK. This tool right here projects. So we'll give ourselves a top view, side view, and 3D view, even though it's not really needed. And I always like that to be shaded. All right, let's add some hidden lines so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to double click this drawing. I'll come up here, and this one's called Visible with Hidden Lines. And that gives us our dotted lines. Do the same thing down here. Double click this one. Visible with hidden lines. And now you can see the, the holes. All right, let's add some measurements. So I'll come in here. Zoom in pretty close. And I'm going to grab the dimension tool right here. It looks like a sun. I'm going to click on the outside of my circle. And then come up here. And I have 0.25. I'll do the same thing on the hole. Outside of the circle. Come out here, and I have 0.22. All right, I'll do that again. Outside of the circle, and then you come out here and you put it. I'm going to undo that. All right, let's see what we need. We'll go back to our directions. 
we need to use a bilateral tolerance format to specify the tolerances. Okay, let's show you how to do that in Fusion. I'm going to just double click 0.25. If you, have, if you haven't done so, actually hit escape on the keyboard and then double click 0.25. All right, you can now edit it over here. I'll pull this window over so you can see better. Down here we have tolerance. I want to click that check mark. We get plus or minus 0 0.01 and you can change this. You can go in one direction. You can do limits. That means you type it in manually. We're going to do symmetrical. Let's go back and look at our binder. We have 0.25 plus or minus 0, 0.1. That's what we're looking for. We have 0.25 plus or minus 0, 0.1. So I'm going to hit close, and that gives us our tolerance for that one. Let's go over here. We'll double click this one. Oops. Same thing. We're going to check off tolerance. And if you wanted to change this number, let's say you had to make it 2. You could type in a 2 there. You could type in a 5. Maybe. All right. If you needed to change the precision, you can do that right here. So if you needed more decimals, you could do that. So if you needed 5, 1, 2, 3, you can make it more or less precise. We're just going to leave it on the 2. All right. So we need 0 0.1, 0, sorry, 0 0.01, and we're done with that. Now we're not quite done because we did not dimension this other hole or this other pin. So we don't have to if we double click this. I can click up here, right there, and I can type 2 times space, 2x space. Actually, the x should be capitalized. And now, that means that there's two holes here, that side. I can do the same thing to this guy. Double click it. Click right here next to the size, 2, shift x. There we go. All right. Add some more dimensions. Be two inches, two inches, and you can take a screenshot of this and paste that in your document. And if you look over here, you can tell that the hole is smaller than the pin. Okay, the hole is smaller than the pin. Make sure you save this just as drawing, that's fine. Take a screenshot of that. Now, when you go to do the second part of this, all right, this is going to have to be a limit the next one so you're gonna to have to change it to limit and then you can manually type in what your limits are so for example if you put a 2 here what's that? oh hang on close let's try that again. oh geez undo that let's try that again limit so down here if you put a 2 see how it changes the number to a 4 if you click down here and you put a 5 it changes it to a 7 so it just adds it to the actual size all right, that's how you do a limit, and that's going to be needed um, for number 12. You're going to have to come down here and design a part, and you're going to have to use a clearance fit, and they want you to use limit dimensions. So you're going to have to have a clearance fit. That means it's a part that can slip or slide. It's not going to snap together like the one we just did.